wait a minute. Wait a minute. The sky is still dark? I'm heading towards the Walt Disney World gate. There's a big bright light over there. And it's 3.17 in the morning? That can only mean one thing. There's a Run Disney event going on. Oh, if you remember watching these vlogs just about, couldn't I, I don't even think it was two full months ago. You know what this is. And I don't know how I feel yet this morning. Ooh, that is a rough looking Peter in the morning. Um, Sarah has a ton of work to do for that job that we told you about the other day. Um, so we decided that since we were also coming out tomorrow and Sunday that Sarah would stay home for this one and I would come out. Um, we're addicted now to just coming into these awesome events, Run Disney. I'm not running today, but our good friend Katie is running today and tomorrow, so we're here to cheer her on. And then our other friend Kyla will be running Sunday, the, the half marathon. So we will be here all weekend um, to support the runners. It's going to be weird. I'm interested to see how this all looks from the like watcher's perspective rather than running. But I tell you already, I knew this was gonna happen. I, I wish I was running. I wish I was running. But it'll be awesome to be able to watch. So today's the 5K, so time to go. Check out all the offerings. my friends at ACS, they're here. Um, I'm not part of Team Determination for this run, this weekend, but there are people who are on Team Determination, so shout out to them and ACS. Um, Katie just parked, she said, so I'm gonna go meet up with her, but the princesses got married up there along with Minnie, Princess Minnie, and uh, both of their Tiana and Belle. I'm super, super jealous, guys. The medals, as you saw, were on the stage. Oh, I literally told my friends at ACS, I was like, I saw waiting in line for them to let us in that the half marathon registration is still open. Like, I wonder how I, if I went home after this, if me and Sarah could, I want to do it. I want to get in one of these runs this weekend, and I think all of them are sold out except for the half. Oh, why am I doing this to myself? Torturing myself like this. There's info tanks. Gonna check out. This is staging. Here is the route for. That's the half. Oh, okay. So same path as the other half. And here's the 5K. So it's similar to the 5K we did for Marathon Weekend. We start out here, go back around the showcase lagoon. Boom. Boom. That's right, we want to officially welcome you out to our Disney Princess Half Marathon Weekend presented by Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Today, we are celebrating the 5K and all thanks Elena of Avalor. She is a wonderful princess who does embody all the characteristics that many of you embody that are the true characteristics of a princess like determination, courage, and commitment. Do you agree, John? I agree 100%. Here we go, here we go. A lot of people crawling up. We got Katie and her friend over here. Katie's running the 5K. Autism Speaks. Let's do it. Thank you to everybody that donated. Um, oh, I just realized, look at this. Let me flip the screen on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super bitter because Katie's sister didn't end up making it. And she has a bib. Oh, and I was, I was, got her down. <laughs> I was this close. If, we, if you would have gotten that text like 15 minutes right. earlier, I would have gone. Uh -huh. So she's staying at one of the all-stars. So I legit was like, could I drive there, get the bib and make and it back? back? yeah. Which I know is against I policy because like, there's no transfers, but I probably could have. The shadows are the struggle in the mornings of the run For real. Megan's trying to meet Tiana. I hope she gets to make it because if not, then it she's changes to a She's already pretty far. 
Yeah, because these are like big groups. So well, and everyone wants to corral up, so they're like, go, 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 go. Dress as Tiana, so hopefully, like a character tenant will be like, all right, we can meet, meet like. Yeah, one more we person. can we can meet her. There they go. Bye, Megan. Bye, Katie. They're going to corral up, but the race doesn't even start for 30 minutes, and their corral is they're in the C corral, which is a third corral. So they probably won't start running until six o'clock or later so they're gonna text me when they go line up i'm gonna go see my acs friends finish lines that way but i'm going back to the start it's 5 52. so i've been hanging out with my friends over at acs just because i met a lot of them during the marathon weekend and some of the friends are running they like share who's in charge of each event so some of them are running some of them are cheering some of them are taking photos throughout it so i was just catching up with them because katie and megan are in a later corral they'll in sea corral it's 5.50, they've been going for 20 minutes, and so I told Katie to text me when they're moving their corral, and that hasn't happened yet. So I still got some time, so, but I'm gonna walk over to the start line now to check it out, but I'm excited to see this side of the start. Walking past this information tent, trying to not walk over and be like, hey, let me get a bib for half. But according to my cell phone this morning, they were still selling, so we'll see. My friends at ACS were like, do it, sign up for it. So it's a cool metal, it's Aurora, in like a really big running stride, like, here we go, we got runners and runners and runners. Look at that, woo! So I'm walking over, here's all the corrals that are, have been emptied. Katie just said that their corral is getting moved right now, just around the corner, so the start line's right there. I'm gonna go over there, try to see if I can get up on the fence for them to start before I hop on over to the finish line. Runners set, go! There they are. Proud of you two. You got this. It is just so gorgeous out. It's a little, little sticky, but not too bad. I'm just so happy for all the runners and jealous, but just so happy for them. It's so much fun to do run Disney events. It's very cool to be on this side of the spectator side. I can't wait to get the finish line to see what kind of crowd there is just like going crazy there. So they just kicked off, so I'm gonna go hang out at the finish line, see what kind of party's going on. Bunch of ACS people are at the finish line getting photos, because there's um, 14 runners today for ACS Team Determination for the 5K, but over the whole weekend there's 50 runners doing one of the three, at least one of the three races. So that's awesome. Go Team Determination. Can't wait to be back on the team for Star Wars. So I know I said it before, but I literally just saw Katie run off, and the, the princesses are already out doing meet and greets again, and there's already so many runners that are done. Because if you think about it, it's 6.20. So the run started officially 50 minutes ago. So like, if you ran, if you were in Corral A and you were running a 10 minute mile, you were done a while ago. And if you were any of the, uh, for like, other corrals and had like a 12 to 15 minute mile you're basically done right about now so the metal looks good he's making good time there's already a world showcase this is gonna go on this way from the exit all right the phone coach is coming up All right, so they're done. They look like they did. Uh, like they did a they, good pace. They looked good when they crossed the finish line. They didn't look like they were dehydrated or overexhausted or anything. So let's go find them and see. I think I remember Sarah during the vlogs talking all morning when she was bouncing around property how beautiful the skies were during these early, early morning runs, and she was not joking. This is a serious sunrise. Gorgeous skies. Here they are. Look at those two 5K. Let me see that medal. Let me see that. Ooh, Ooh it's better in person like, than in the photos, right? Yeah, it's like matte. It's nice. I love it. How do you feel? Good. A little sleepy. Yeah? The humidity, was hard. the humidity was bad. Yeah, it's that sticky air. We took some inhaler puffs and yep. got through it. I was checking. I didn't realize that I have your location, so I got to track you. Oh, time. yeah. It bottlenecked a lot. Good job. Good job. Happy Friday! 
We are eating some buffalo chicken skillets for dinner. Just kind of put a bunch of stuff together. Zucchini and tomatoes and onions and potatoes and chicken and cheese. So, little Peter, here's your dinner. Oh, this looks good. Alrighty, so it looks like this is going to be, hold on. Maura Rose is just being very loud. If you know what show I'm watching, put in the comments. Um, this is my Friday night. I'm going to fold this laundry and I have a video exporting. It's gonna take some time. So I'm gonna do, be productive while it does it. Peter is out running some errands and he'll be back soon. Eva's asleep. Matt and Ben are out to dinner. So it's just a little old bee. I've been, I haven't, have I gone outside today? Peter took evals. I don't even think I've gone outside today. He's home and he came there and get so sweet. We also have fresh queen sheets from our friend Jessica. So we got the bed from Josh and Joy Beth and she gave us some sheets and I say that it looks like a Jasmine Disney bound. Clean sheets for bed and we have to go to bed soon. Yeah. Because we need to get up in four hours. Because we're going to go to the 10K. And Sarah will experience firsthand my FOMO. <laughs> I was going to say I've experienced it as a spectator. But you've not experienced me crying on the inside. She's been sleeping. Today is the 15th, no, 22nd. I don't know what I'm thinking. Today's the 22nd. So the message for today is, so fill your heart with what's important and be done with all the rest. La dispute. So very true. Only worry and concern yourself with what fills your heart because that's what's important. Nothing else in the world matters. This sweet puppy right here, chewing on her bone, she fills my heart and she is important. Well, a little bit of a crazier day. We barely got to spend any time Yeah, together. we literally spent almost no time together. With you working late and me going out and me going out this morning so you could rest, so you could work all day. It's a crazy day, yeah. but. We have we got like three hours of sleep we can get right now. Mm -hmm. Is that your yeah. messages from overseas? Yeah, it's crazy what the time change and difference. Like we're going to bed, but like their day is like started. And I could like chat with them until like noonish. Right. So. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.